Okay, so uh, why are you focusing on Thailand? Why NeuroFocus wants to be in Thailand? Yeah, as, as we know that uh, the Nielsen data shows uh, that the consumer in confidence index uh, in fact has been improving for the last few quarters and uh, Asia is obviously the center stage of the world right now and uh, Thailand being no different and uh, obviously there is huge growth potential in Thailand as well. Uh, our number one priority is absolutely to see how we can actually help uh, local Thai companies uh, to develop more R&D based products and have local innovation and get into the center stage of Asia. Uh, so we strongly feel that uh, uh, this particular technology uh, could help a lot of Thai companies uh, to take the consumer insights to the next level and, and, and have a path breaking insight which can help them to develop new products, uh, have better communication with or direct connection with the consumers uh, and also the way they can market uh, can be taken to the completely new level. So we believe that we can actually help or cause a certain transformation in the industry by using this particular technology. Uh, and that's what Nielsen is all about today, uh, of bringing uncommon insights uh, to you as a, as a client. So what sort, what types of client or industry are you focusing at in Thailand now? Uh, we, we mainly, as I mentioned, uh, we mainly, well, apart from the global companies, we want actually the main focus in Thailand is the local Thai company, the traditional Thai companies, uh, who not only want to develop and extend their growth in Thailand, but actually get beyond Thailand and make their presence much more stronger across Asia. Uh, so uh, industries like media, industries like telecom, uh, FMCG, big FMCG players, uh, you know, business conglomerates, uh, we would definitely focus on these uh, verticals. Uh, banking, uh, finance, that was another huge vertical. So we can certainly uh, help them and we'll look forward to working with them to see how we can actually help them uh, grow their business exponentially. Tis the season. Retailers want you in the door, opening your wallet and buying their brands. The question on their minds, what makes one person hand over their hard-earned cash while another hangs on to it? Anything that we watch, we see, we hear, we listen, we touch, we taste, we smell. Well, finally, it all ends up in the brain. So, if only we could know what persuades us? This upstart research firm in Berkeley, California is working on an answer. Instead of looking at what happens in the mall, they're looking deep into the consumer's brain. Neuromarketing is just using science to understand what motivates us and, and what makes us who we are and, 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 and what makes us behave in certain ways. A.K. Pardeep is the founder of NeuroFocus, the biggest neuromarketing company of its kind. Well, how does the brain react to the free part of the free camera phone? Does, does she get it? His enthusiasm is obvious and contagious. All the highs we need, we get in at work every day. The action happens in the brain. And we are as close to it as we possibly can. This team of neurophysiologists and scientists is working to measure the human brain. We directly reach into the brain to understand how the consumer feels about your ad and your brand and your product. Okay, so we've got you all hooked up. First, they invite a pre-screened consumer to the office. The setup is pretty straightforward. The sensors measure electrical impulses via electrodes placed on the scalp at an eye-popping rate of 2,000 times per second. That massive data flow is coupled with this pixel-level eye-tracking device and these tabs that will measure changes in the skin's electrical conductance. Then we'll let you watch the ad. As you watch the ad, second by second, in fact, 2,000 times a second, we look at your attention, your emotional engagement, your memory retention. And from that, 
we composite a measure of effectiveness second by second by second. The neurophysiologist watches the brainwave patterns in real time. Yeah, let's take a look at your brainwaves. Excellent. These squiggly lines provide a millisecond by millisecond printout of how this consumer is reacting to Daily Planet. But this isn't the whole story. Looking at brain waves is beautiful, but it doesn't tell you much. So what we have done is we have broken it down into the three key parameters. Just three. Those three parameters are attention, emotional engagement, and memory retention. Neuroscientists already know which part of the human brain corresponds to each of those parameters, and from those measures, they infer more